Jerry of the circus. Jerry of the circus. All right, Rags, I see him. Uncle Dan. Oh, there you are, Jerry. Hey, did you have breakfast yet? Long ago, Jerry. I guess I was about the first one to get in the mess stop this morning. Oh, well, I was just going to say the flag's down, and if you didn't eat yet, you're out of luck until lunchtime. <laughs> kind of looking out for your old uncle, huh? Jerry? Well, I just didn't want to see you go hungry. Oh, I see. Uncle Dan. Yes? Did you figure out something about those passes? I mean, so they won't take up all the seats and keep the cash customers out? Yes, I did, Jerry. I figured out a little plan that might work. What is it? Well, let's sit down on the steps here, Jerry. All right. <laughs> now what? <laughs> he's trying to say something, all right. He's begging. That's what he's doing. That's all? Sure. He wants to go over to the menagerie. Don't you, Ray? <laughs> well, all right. Go ahead. But don't you go near the mess tent and bother Leo and beg for a bone. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> now, what were you going to say? Oh, yes. About the little plan I have for the uh, free ticket. Yeah. Well, I had a talk with Jack Hastings, and he told me that he'd been trying for a long time to figure out a better way to work out the passes for window advertising. Funny he couldn't think of something. Jack's pretty smart. That's a big problem, Jerry. The circus has to have advertising so folks will know when and where we play in each town. Sure, I know that. And it's only fair that we give out free tickets to the people that let us put those cards in their store windows. But it doesn't seem right that the people with the passes get in and take up all the seats, and then Mr. Randall loses money by having to turn down the cash customers. That's why it's a big problem. So what's your plan? Well, I told Jack that I thought it'd be a good idea to set aside one or two sections of seats for the passes alone. Well, that's a good idea. Now, wait. And then tell the holders of the passes that they have to be in by 8 o'clock for the night shows and by 2 o'clock for the matinee. Maybe I don't understand, but, well, I don't see how that's going to help. Look, Jerry, that way... Oh, you don't have to explain it to me. If you say it'll work, I suppose it will. At least I hope so. Well, it's not the best plan on earth, but it's worth trying. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. Well, now, Jerry, that's nice of you. It won't be too much trouble, will it? <laughs> no, quit kidding me. <laughs> You're a great boy, Jerry. Hey, look it. What, Jerry? Uh, there goes Boris Russoff. Mm. The glum Russian they're beginning to call him. Uh-huh. He can't seem to get over the way they played the joke on him. <laughs> he got pretty mad about it, all right. And he says he won't give up until he finds out who did it. He said, anyone who thinks they can make a monkey of the great Boris has got to get up early in the morning, and don't forget that either. <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine how mad he got when he finally realized it was all a joke. He sure must look funny in those little boys' clothes out in front of the main gate when the show let out. <laughs> I'll say. Imagine his embarrassment. Yeah, well, what's so funny? Am I missing out on something? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Randall. Morning, sir. Yeah, you two seem to be in fine spirits this morning. Couldn't be better. Uncle Dan just figured out something that's going to save you money. Oh, well, that's, uh, that's fine. How about it, Dan? Am I going to have to buy you that new suit of clothes? Mm, don't know, Mr. Randall. You might. <laughs> well, uh, what's it all about? Oh, just a little something I've worked out with Jack Hastings. Oh, well, is it a secret? No, but let's give it a try first. I'll tell you what I wish you'd do, though. Mm, yeah, yeah? I wish you'd check your receipts tonight and compare them with last night. Well, I, I always do that. Yeah, but notice the difference. Oh, you, you think maybe we're going to take in more money? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> yeah, so do I, and... Whatever you're doing, Dan, I hope it works. Uh, 
Say, uh, where's Rags, Jerry? Oh, he's gone over to the menagerie to see Kelly. He likes to be around the animals. Oh. Say, uh, by the way, how's that uh, new getting along? Uh, what's her name? Uh, Maud. Oh, she's all right now. Oh, she and the cat still friends? The best pals in the menagerie. <laughs> Well, that's an odd friendship, that one. A cat and a new friend? Mm hmm. Yeah, it beats all some of these animal friendships. You see, Rags found a sick cat a couple of weeks ago, and when I took it over to the menagerie, the new spotted it and brightened right up. I don't get you, Jerry. Well, uh, Dan, the, the new had just recently lost her mate and was grieving. And somehow, when she heard the cat wailing, well, I, I guess she figured her own troubles weren't as bad as the cat's, and they became friends. Hmm. Did you ever hear of anything like that? Well, to be too truthful, Jerry, I've heard of stranger things than that. Not only heard of them, but seen them with my own eyes out in the jungle. Well, what, for instance? What would you say about a friendship between a chimpanzee and a leopard? Really? Well, yeah, that's a new one on me, Dan. I was responsible for that get-together. How? Well, you can believe it or not, but we trapped the leopard, and before getting him out of the trap and into the cage, we wanted to take some pictures. Yeah. Well, sir, we went back to camp to get the camera equipment, and when we returned, we heard some rustling, so we closed in very quietly. Now, wait a minute. Is this on the level, Dan? It sure is, Mr. Randall. Well, then what happened? We found a big chimpanzee actually helping that big leopard out of the pit. No fooling. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> did the chimp get the leopard out? Yes, he did. And then he examined the leopard to see if he was hurt. That leopard seemed to know the chimp was trying to help him. <laughs> I, I can't see why you'd let a good catch like a leopard get away so easy. Well, I tell you, we figured the incident so rare that we thought pictures of it would be more valuable than the catch itself. Well, did you get some good pictures? You bet we did. I'd sure like to see them. So would I, Jerry. What do you mean? Well, unfortunately, while we were away from our base camp for a few days, a band of natives overpowered our guards and made off of the pictures. Not only the pictures, but several weeks' food supply, too. They practically cleaned us out. Well, those are some of the chances you take, hmm? Yep. You never know when some band of natives are going to swoop down and help themselves to everything that takes their fancy. Hey, listen. Oh, oh what's up, Jerry? Uh, here, Rags. Here, Rags. Come on. Here he comes, Jerry. Hey, what's the matter, fella? Oh, oh wait a minute. I see. It's, it's Tony, the, the big, fat Italian clown. <laughs> and it looks like he's on the warpath. <laughs> yeah, here I am, Tony. He's looking everywhere. <laughs> Over here, Tony. Tony. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Yeah. Lots of trouble, Mr. Randall. Lots yeah. of trouble. Hey, now, don't laugh, Jerry. He's really upset about something. Oh, it's too bad. No more Tony, no monks. No Tony, no Tony, no act. Oh. I'm so sorry, Mr. Well, Randall. Now, wait a minute. What's all this? Now, take it easy now, Tony. What are you trying to tell well, me? Well, what I'm trying to tell you is that I'm no good without the monk. Mio bambino, she's gone. Now, wait a minute. You're trying to tell me you lost your monkey? No, 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 no. I'm no lose. I'm a nowhere he is. Well, then go and get him. Well, I'm no gotta get him. No gotta get him. That's now, what I'm listen, trying to tell you. Now, calm down and tell me what happened. Well, I'm going to start to the front, eh? Uh, uh, what's that? <laughs> he means he's going to start at the beginning. Oh, gee, oh, that's all right. All, all, all right, right, Tony, that's a good idea. All right, let's have your story now. Oh, she's a no story. She's a true. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. All right, all right, but go ahead. Well... I'm a like my monk. Yeah. I'm a love him. I'm a caress him. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm a always think of my monk. I'm a good to him, Mr. Randall. My monkey, he's a just, uh, just <laughs> like my brother. <laughs> Jerry. Well, all right, come to the point. Come on, come to the point, uh, Tony. What are you trying to tell me? Well, I'm telling you, I started the front. Yes, yes, yes. Well, all right. I'm a like my monkey so much, I'm, I'm a taking him to the zoo this morning. To the zoo? Or what for? What for? So we can see his relations, the, the other monkeys in the cages. Uh, do you get that, Dan? <laughs> Pretty good, I'd say. <laughs> go ahead, Tony. Well, first I tried to go in the street, the car. But they don't let me come on with my monk. Three or four cars I tried. The conductor, she's a say, no! Of course they won't let you on the streetcars with a monkey. I can't even get on one with rags. Well, my monkeys are better than a dog. Oh, yeah, I don't know about that. Now, Jerry, well, go ahead, Tony. So what did you do? Well, I'm, I'm a walker to the zoo. I'm a walk all the way with my little bambino. Well, yeah, that's quite a walk, Tony. Well, you tell me. I'm a tired. But my monkey, I'm thinking of him. Uh -huh. How he like to see the other monkeys. Yeah, well, where is he now? My monkey? Yeah, of course. Where is he? Oh, he's a lock up. Locked up? Yeah, see. He's in a big monkey cage in the zoo. I tell you just how it happened. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'm a holding him so he's a look at the monk. Mm -hmm. Then the keeper's a come at the feet. Yeah, yeah, the keeper came to feed the other monkeys. Yes, see, see, that's all right. Yeah, so? So, my bambino, he's to see the man open the door and puts a lots of banana inside. 
Well, my bambino, he wants a banana. So he's a jump out of my arm and he's a run right inside the cage. He ran right through the open door and into the big monkey cage? That's right. <laughs> he's, he's a hungry for the banana. Well, why didn't you go in after him? Get him out. Why? Why? You ask me why? Because he's a no Latin. He's a man to keep. He's well, a no Latin. Oh, wait a minute. He, he saw your monkey go in, didn't he? Shoo, shoo. He's a see. He's a see. You know my monkey. She's inside. Well, I, I don't see why he wouldn't let you go and get him. Well, he's a say. How I know my monk? Oh. Maybe I take the wrong one. Oh. Well, didn't you have the costume on your monkey, Tony? No. I'm a no put his clothes on. Oh, then no wonder. The man was right. How could you tell your monkey from all the rest? How? How? What a Tony. He don't know which one. But you, you couldn't convince the keeper, is that it? Well, that's all right. I could. The man ought to know you wouldn't want any other monkey than your own. Well, I'm going to say that, too. I'm going to tell him my monk, he's a trend. I'm going to do tricks to make for to show him I've got the right to want. And he wouldn't let you, huh? No, he's telling me to go away. Go away. Beat it, he says. Well, that's bad, Tony. Well, Tony knows it's about it. Me, a bambino. I'm in love with my monk. Oh, <laughs> what about the matinee? How are you going to do your act without your monkey? It's just what's the matter. Well, what do you suggest he does, Dan? Looks bad, doesn't it? Yeah. There must be something or some way to get Get the monkey back. Oh, I'm a terror down the cage. I'm going to get to my monk. I'm going to tell you I get uh, to the right monkey. Now, Tony, you won't have to go to that extreme. Uh, say, Mr. Randall, how about calling this door and explaining the whole thing to whoever's in charge? Well, they'd most likely have the same answer the keeper had. They'll want the proper identification before they let a monkey out of the cage. Those little critters all look alike, you know. No monkey, no show, no show. We'll no monkey, find no a monkey, way no of show. getting your monkey back before matinee. Well, we'll have to. For six so long years, I'm going to teach my monk tricks. I'm going to work with my monkey for you. How long, Mr. Well, Randall? let's see. You've been with me, uh, I believe this is the fourth season, Tony. Tony? That's all right. Four years I'm going to do my monkey. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm feeling so bad. Ah, I should think you would. Oh, maybe my monkey's going to get a hurt in the bigger cage. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that, Tony. He can take care of himself all right. He's a whole lot smarter than those cage monkeys. Sure, she's a smart. He's a very smart. But how am I going to get him yeah, back? Yeah, Come on, now let's get our heads together and figure something out. Yeah, we've got to get that monkey. He's too valuable to leave in a cage in a zoo. Besides, Tony has to have him back in time for the matinee. Hey, well, I've got it. What, Jerry? I know how you can get him, Tony. It's easy. Listen. Well, this better be good. Oh, it is. Now, here's all you have to do, Tony. Get the clown band. What? Well, how can they do anything about it? Well, Tony's monkey is the leader of the clown band, isn't he? Shoes is the leader. He's a making them play. All right, then. If the clown band can go out to the zoo and start playing right by the monkey cage, the little monkey will hear them and want to come out and play leader. Say, maybe you've got something there, Jerry. Sure, it's bound to work. The monkey will think it's showtime and want to get out of the cage and go to work with the band. That's a good, yes, Mr. Randall? Yeah, it might work at that. And then you can put your monkey through some of his tricks, and that should prove beyond a doubt that you have the right monkey. And that's a good, good boy, Jerry, good well, boy. Well, all right, get going. Round up all the clowns that work in the band, all that you can find, and hey, here, take this money. Take a cab to the zoo. Oh, thank you very much. Can I go with you, Tony? Oh, shoes, you come with me, Jerry. Well, I hope your idea works, Jerry. But whether it does or not, I want you back from the matinee. You've got your show to do, remember? Mm, yes, sir, we'll be back. And we'll have Tony's monkey, too. 